aboard. Hey, Veronica, do you copy? All loud and clear, John. Okay, good. I'm on the boat, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my way to the dagger. Alright. Just be careful and don't be too long. Don't worry. Just get ready to come and pick me up when I tell you to. I'll see you around. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch! Hey, Kenny's got the dagger. Do not let him get away. Veronica, I need you to come and pick me up now. Hurry!
<laughs> Going somewhere, Kenway? Francis! Long time no see. You didn't think you could actually run away from me this time, did you? <laughs> no, I guess not. You know, Kenway, you have always been a thorn in my side for a very long time now, and quite frankly, I am sick and tired of it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot you down myself, and I'm going to take back the dagger that you've stolen from me. Then I'll have my men dump your body in the ocean, never to be seen again. Wow. That sounds very anticlimactic. I mean, come on, Francis. After all we've been through? I'd say that's a very happy ending in my book. So I'm afraid this is the end of the road for you, Kenny. Any last words? Yeah. My name is not Kenny. I believe you owe me one, John. <laughs> it's about time you showed up. I'm afraid you just missed all the fireworks. I saw it from a distance as I was making my way around here. So, did you get it? Yep. Mission accomplished. Then what are you waiting for? Hop on! The concept of archaeology is to search for clues about the culture or person's past. And always remember, there's more to it than just digging in the ground for artifacts, treasures, or human remains. Each object of the past tells a story. And 70% of archaeology are done by research, such as reading books in the library. Alright, looks like that concludes our lesson for today. Are there any questions? No? Alright, have a good spring break, and don't forget, when we come back, we'll start on chapters 4 and 5 on Egyptology. Have a good one. Professor. Veronica, what are you doing here? I came looking for you. It's about Arthur Grady. I was just on my way to see him. He called you earlier and says that he needs to talk to you about something important. Yeah? About what exactly? I don't know. He didn't say. Yeah, well, whatever it is, hopefully I'm not in trouble. I'll see you around.
Come in. Jonathan, there you are. Hey, Arthur. I'm sure Mrs. Abbott has delivered you my message. Yeah, and I'm sorry I couldn't answer the phone earlier. I had a class to teach. Oh, no worries. I understand that education is the most important thing for our youths. You are the present, and they are the futures of tomorrow. I couldn't say it any better myself. Oh, I was going to stop by so I can give you this. It's an old cavalry dagger that was used around the mid-1800s during the Civil War. I'm sure it deserves a special spot here in the museum. It's magnificent. Well done, Jonathan. Once again, you've done the museum a great service with your donation. Always happy to contribute. Anyways, I heard you needed to talk to me about something important, and I've been wondering... Oh yes, I almost forgot. Do you know Marcus Talbot? I've heard of him. He claims himself to be an archaeologist, but he's more of a mercenary scum if you ask me. Talbot has arrived in San Andreas not too long ago, and is on Mount Chiliad with hired guns. Does he have a reason to be there? What could he be looking for in the mountains? I heard from a great source that he is looking for a specific artifact, a Native American stone hatchet. And what's so special about this stone hatchet? What makes it different from all the other handcrafted materials? It's not just any ordinary handcrafted material. This stone hatchet belonged to a great Native American leader called Grey Cloud. Of the Matoka tribe? Yes. About 80-some years ago, an archaeologist was on a mission to look for the stone hatchet himself, but disappeared without a trace. Nobody knows exactly what happened to him. The reason I wanted to talk to you about this was because the museum knows what Talbot's aspirations are, and they want you to find the artifact before he does. They're willing to pay a good price for it, too. Well... I don't have any plans for the upcoming week, so I don't see why not. I'm in. I'll find a stone hatchet before Talbot does. I'm very thrilled to hear that you'll take on this assignment. And, Jonathan, if you do find the stone hatchet, just be careful. Nobody knows the secrets or power that the artifact could possibly possess. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. You know I don't believe in none of that superstitious nonsense. It's probably just a ghost story to make it all exciting. And besides, I've been doing this kind of work for years and I've not seen one supernatural event or unexplained thing happen. And this artifact will be no different. Trust me, you have nothing to worry about. I'm always cautious with what I do. I'm always happy to tag along with you in many adventures, especially this one. Of course. Can't keep all this exciting experience to myself. Besides, it's always good to have a travel buddy. Wow, the mountains look so beautiful from up here. And speaking of mountains, you see that one up ahead? Yeah. That's Mount Chiliad. That's where we need to go. 
Let's hope we're the first ones to find the artifact. Yeah, let's also hope we don't run into any trouble. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? What the hell? Please tell me that's not anti-aircraft fire. Ugh, we're not flying in a restricted area, are we, John? No, of course not. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hey, Veronica, you're not gonna like this, but we're gonna have to bail out. What? Bail out? Yeah, so hurry and grab a parachute from the back. Go! Oh, I can't believe this is happening. Have you been in this situation before? Never jumped out of the plane in my life. I think I'm ready. All right, get going. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you coming? If you haven't noticed, I'm kind of busy right now. So I'll see you on the ground. Count on it. Now go. Okay. Oh, what are you doing, John? What are you doing? I gotta get out of here. This is not how I thought this day was gonna go. Here goes nothing. Ah! Crap! Crap! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Veronica. Hey, excuse me, have you by chance seen a lady flown down from the sky with a parachute on? Our plane was gonna crash so we had to bail out and I can't... Great. Thanks a lot for the help. Well, I better get moving.
Oh, man. Looks like that plane didn't crash too long ago. I sure hope Talbot and his men didn't have anything to do with this. Shit! You have got to be kidding me. Looks like I'll camp here for tonight. Thank God I packed the essentials. Veronica, wherever you are, I just hope you're okay.
Ugh, I'm so tired. My legs are killing me. Veronica, where are you? Ugh. Keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Hey, I see you're finally awake. In case you're wondering, this is the state wilderness of Mount Chiliad. And back over there is the village. In fact, it's the only one in this region. How did I get here? Yesterday, my group and I found you laying on the rocks of the mountain after you passed out. You must have been very exhausted. I was. I walked for miles to look for a friend who's gone missing. Long story short, but when we traveled on a plane and when it was going down, we bailed out and got separated. Couldn't find her for about two days. You know what? I think you might want to follow me. Come on. This way. Just when I thought I had nothing left to lose. John, thank God you're okay. I was so worried about you. I was worried about you. Where you been? I've been looking for you everywhere for like the past two days. Oh, you know. Just looking. Looking for you. I'm just glad you're okay. So if you don't mind me asking, what brings you two out here on Mount Chiliad? An assignment. We're looking for a specific artifact. I assume you're looking for the stone hatchet that belonged to the Matoka leader. Grey Cloud, is that right? Yes. How did you know? Talbot and his men are the reason why most of these people are fugitives, staying here in the village. They raided most of their properties in the mountain to search for the artifact. And how long have these people been here? For about a couple of weeks now. Before this, I was planning on searching for the stone hatchet myself when I found out the Matoka leader was part of my ancestor's family tree. So much work has caught up to me that I never got the chance. Now these people here need my help more than anything. As much as we like to stay, 
I think we better get moving if we want to try to find a stone hatchet. If I have to guess, I believe you might have a better chance on finding the artifact somewhere in the Great Chaparral region. What makes you say that? Because many years ago, an archaeologist was looking for the same artifact and was last seen going to an abandoned mine shaft just south from here. Wait a minute. Arthur says something about this back at the museum. So if those guys are still in the mountains, then that means they could be searching, searching in the wrong, wrong place. place. There's only one way to find out. So, we might have a good chance of getting our hands on it before they do. Listen, we have to get going now, so thanks for everything and for bringing John back here in one piece. Take care of yourself and please... Be safe. I will. And safe travels. Wait. Before you go, I just want to say thank you and that you'll be doing my ancestors a good favor. If you do find the stone hatchet, be sure to get it far away from here as possible. I'll do what I can. And if I find it, I'll make sure your family's history won't be forgotten. Take care now. This must be the place. I wonder how we're gonna get in. The only way I know how. I'd be surprised if no one around here has heard that. We're the only ones here as far as I know. Come on. I don't have a good feeling about this place at all. It's giving me the creeps. Yeah, let's hope we find something because I don't plan on staying here for too long. And God knows how deep these tunnels go. I still don't understand why the archaeologists would go in here to look for the stone hatchet. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Why would the artifact be in here? Who knows? He could be looking for something else. Ugh. Looks like we found him. Oh my god. 1940s clothing? Yep. That's definitely him. Here, do me a favor and hold this for a minute, will you? 
I'm gonna go see if he's got something on him. Careful, John. Wait a minute. Hey, Veronica, I think I found something. Hello. What have we got here? Huh. That's interesting. What is it? It appears to be some kind of message on the back of this coin. Well, go on. What does it say? Follow the sun and the direction of the birds, and which way the wind blows. My days on this earth is done. Great Cloud, 1909. Follow the sun. I think this guy found something, all right. Hey, Veronica, do you know what this means? What? It's a clue. The archaeologist found a clue that's written on the back of this coin that could possibly lead us to the location where the stone hatchet is. Okay. And where exactly do we need to go? Hmm. I think I figure it out. We're gonna have to find the tomb of Grey Cloud. The tomb has to be somewhere hidden in the mountains of this region. And also, the sun will act as our compass. A compass that will guide us to the location of the artifact. Come on, let's go find it before- They're in here. Search the place. Oh no. We better get out of here. Come on. Jonathan Kenway, the man I heard so much about. We finally meet. And of course, how could I forget his traveling companion, Veronica Abbott. Allow me to introduce myself. The name's Marcus Talbot. I know who you are, you bastard. Manners, my boy. Let's be professional and act like civilized people, shall we? It seems like you have found something. Don't know what you're talking about. Search them. Put your hands up. An interesting mint mark. Another priceless antique for the collection. Something like this is worth millions, just like the stone hatchet that will soon be in my possession. You call yourself an archaeologist, when all you do is take credit for someone's work and claiming it your own? We're no different from each other, Mr. Kenway. You see, history is our obsession, and there are people out there that would kill to have such a legendary artifact within their reach. And since you're an expert on archaeology, you, my friend, are going to help me locate and retrieve the artifact. And what if I refuse? Then maybe we'll pay a little visit to your friends from the village. Or maybe... If you want my help, then leave her and the villagers out of this. Nobody needs to get hurt. You've done enough damage here, so... I'll cooperate. Looks like we got ourselves a bargain. Take the girl back to the hangar. Just in case Mr. Kenway comes up with any clever ideas to get himself out of this. Take your dirty hands off me! John! John! Veronica! Help me get the stone hatchet, and I'll send the girl back to you in one piece.
Hey you, jackass, give me your flashlight. Don't try anything funny, Mr. Kenway, or I'll shoot you down myself. All right, Talbot, I got it. Bring it to me. The legendary stone hatchet is in my possession. That fortune and glory will be mine. You've done well, Mr. Kenway, and your cooperation is most appreciated. Now, where is she? You know what? I think Miss Abbott will be more of a worthy companion to me. So therefore, I'll keep her for myself instead. Cut the bullshit. We had a deal, so give me back the girl. I'm afraid the bargain has changed. What I want, I get. So don't take it personal, Mr. Kenway. It's just business. And don't worry, I'll make sure the girl is in good hands. <laughs> Do with him as you will.
Where's Talbot? Where did he take the girl? Tell me. At the Sandy Shores airfield, in the Grand Sonora Desert. Thanks a lot. Hang in there, Veronica. I'm coming.
John! Are you okay? Yeah, still in one piece. And nothing that years of therapy won't fix. Tell me about it. John, I thought you were dead. Hey, this profession may kill me, but not today. Besides, you know I wouldn't leave you. You're my favorite traveling companion. Oh, that's so sweet. So, this means we're even now, right? <laughs> sure. Why not? Come on. Let's get out of here. Right. Looks like we got company. Here, give me the gun. You go after him. I'll cover you from here. Alright, here. Just keep your head down and be careful. You too. Oh, that's just great. Wow. Nice work. Thanks. Ah! <laughs> 
I didn't expect you to be back so soon. We figure since we're here, we might as well go ahead and stop by to give you this. Whoa, it's more beautiful than I imagined. But what about Talbot and his men? Don't worry, they won't be a problem anymore. Besides, if I know any better, I believe your ancestor will want you to have it. I know you'll take better care of it than I do. Trust me. Thank you. I'll be sure to cherish this artifact for the rest of my life and hope to one day that I can pass it down. I'm sure you will. Oh, and before we go, I forgot to ask you what your name was so I can thank you and your group for bringing me back here in one piece. Oh, and the name is Cheyenne. Well, Cheyenne, thanks for the help. It was nice meeting you. Of course. And it was nice meeting you. You both take care now and drive home safe. We will. And so long. I have to say, John, that was very nice of you to do that. Be honest. What do you think I was going to do with that stone hatchet? No, oh, I don't know. Take it back to the museum, perhaps, to achieve your fortune and glory. <laughs> yeah, I could. But that would be too predictable now, would it? You know, fortune and glory isn't everything. Why have that when you can have honor? The greatest treasure of them all.